Hi, this is the second video on indicial notation. In this video, we will look at some examples on indicial notation. So, the first example. Example 1. I want to expand AK, BK, CK. So, can I write it as A1, B1, C1 plus A2, B2, C2 plus and so on up to a n b n c n no the answer is no i cannot write it like this this is not correct so i cannot write it like this because we can observe that the index are getting repeated three times here previous video i told you that it has to be repeated only two times the index has to be repeated only two times then only the summation rule is acceptable so in indicial notation, an index cannot get repeated three times. It can be repeated one time or it can be repeated twice. Repeating an index three times, it is not acceptable in indicial notation. So, so this one does not have any meaning in indicial notation. Let us look at one more example. X, I, J, Y, I, Y, J. So is it possible to expand this? The answer is yes, it is possible. Because we can observe that the index I, it is getting repeated two times. The index J also, it is getting repeated two times. So I, it is repeating twice. And J is also getting repeating. And J is also getting repeated twice. Two times so the summation is possible the integral notation is correct and we can able to expand this and we can write it so let us write that one so first let us expand over i so when i expand over i i get x1 j y1 yj plus x2j y1 y2 y i y2 sorry y2 plus h2 j y2 y j plus h3 j y3 yj now we have to expand this over j so when i expand the first term over j i will get h11 y1 y1 plus h12 y1 y2 plus h13 y1 y3 the second term will be plus x21 y2 y1 plus x plus x22 y2 y2 plus x23 y2 y3 Similarly, the third term will be x31 y3 y1 plus x32 y3 y2 plus x33 y3 y3. So we can observe that there are totally n nine terms. Three into three, nine terms are there in this single expression. So, so the power of using the initial notation is we can reduce the we can reduce writing many number of terms instead of that we can come up with a single term. So we can able to observe here that when I expand over i, I get three terms. 
and when I expand over J, I get three more terms for each and every term. So totally I get three into three terms, that is nine terms. Let us look at one more example. So example three. A I J K H I Y J Z K. So I am not going to expand this one. You can do it as an exercise. But how many terms you are going to get? When we expand over I, we get A one J K H one Y J Z K. Plus A two J K H two Y J Z K plus A three J K H three Y J Z K. So when we expand over I. We get three terms. When we expand over J, we get three more terms. We expand over K. Additionally, we get three more terms. So three into three into three, we have twenty-seven terms in the single expression. So now we can observe. Now we can able to observe the power of using initial notation. Thank you.